Thank you to the entire community of Ames and Iowa State. Um, there's no way to express how much I appreciate everything this community has done for me. Uh, Ames has given me my life back, supported me in a way that allowed me to find myself and, uh, you know, and improve myself as a man, even more so than an athlete. Uh, the fans I always love. You know, they uplifted me in so many ways, from the support on the court to allowing me to um, feel comfortable and at home enough to share my problems with anxiety and, and pursuit of helping those everywhere to suffer from mental illness. Iowa State's a special place, and, and there'll always be a special place in my heart for this university and my experiences here. Uh, one, beating the Hawkeyes. Um, two, the Jayhawks and uh, making our way back to the NCAA tournament for the first time in seven years. Coach Hoyberg here, uh, James Pollard, David Harris, and, and all of Iowa State, you know, I appreciate, again, so much for giving me a second chance at basketball. Um, coach has become, uh, you know, more than a coach to me. He's, he's like an idol and, and a friend, and his era just began here at Iowa State. Also, I want to thank Doc Showman and uh, Vic. You know, they did tremendous work with me um, this year through getting through some of my mental health issues. Uh, Bobby Matthews has always been a great resource for me, um, not only academically, but uh, just in life in general. Cyclone and Alley, you know, they're the best, best student section anywhere. And uh, a lot of media guys in this room, you guys allow me to you know, express who I am away from the court and, and let people see another side of me. And uh, you know, last, I want to thank my teammates in the back. Without them, none of our success would have been possible. They're some of the best young men I've ever been around, and I mean that. Um, you know, I love each and every one of them, and the same goes for uh, you know our coaching staff and all the hard working managers and GAs. Um, all that being said, it, it's been decided you know by the people that I trust that you know become a professional is probably what's best. Uh, so I won't be returning next year to Iowa State. Um, but again, you know, thank you to the Cyclone Nation and everybody who supported me in, in this journey. Uh, you know, after me and Coach talked about it and uh, you know, we had a conversation here at the beginning of this week. Uh, we got that and we just had to talk about it. You know, he did, he did his research and uh, I talked to people that I care about and, and we just went from there. Where are you? Well, you know, you know, my life was not in a great place when, when I first arrived here two years ago. And, uh, you know, the basketball thing was one piece, but, you know, more so this community and living in this community and seeing how great it is and how well it functions, how, how much the people do for each other here um, really allowed me to you know, reflect and, and find myself as, as a man and, and become you know, better off as a human being and move forward to what I want to do for the rest of my life. I do a number of things okay, I guess. I guess that's kind of impressive that I do more than one thing okay. And I, I would say I probably have to improve on everything. Uh, definitely my shot is, is probably one. And uh, you know, just my overall work ethic on the court and, and going to the next level with so many different things to the game. And the speed changes again. so. You know, I have to learn, you know, it's basically like we learn the whole game. So. Yeah, yeah, we consulted earlier this week, uh, you know, just in, in where we were and, and what I wanted to do and, and his recommendation and uh, you know, what I can expect from here and how the process is going to go from his knowledge and how to get ready. You know, philanthropy and, uh, is, is my biggest thing, I mean, helping people. Um, and it's, it's a number of different demographics of people. And it's just that, you know, in college, and it's not a bad thing. Um, I think there's some validity to why the NCAA doesn't let us do certain things to athletes. But in the same respect, just for me personally, there's certain guidelines that being an NCAA athlete doesn't allow me to do or doesn't allow me to go as far as, as, far as how much I can help. So you know, that's, just, that's just part of who I am now. Work, you know, a lot of, a lot of gym work, uh, getting back to the gym, getting back to lifting every day. Uh, Starting yoga, doing some different things like that, just you know, really trying to get my body in, in shape and, and the condition needs to be in to make it up.